Hi everyone, this is Media and Information Literacy and I'm your teacher, Mom Mary Lee from Asian Institute of Technology. And today we're going to learn about the legal, ethical, and societal issues in media and information. When we say legal, it is based on the law. And when we say ethical, it means morally right and good. So here in the picture, as you can see, there are men wearing black suits and they're also wearing masks. I know that you're familiar with a mask because it became an internet meme and it circulated on Facebook. So the mask was actually seen from the movie V for Vendetta last year 2005, if I'm not mistaken. And the mask became associated with a group called Anonymous. And the mask is used to hide their faces whenever they're protesting protesting against something and nowadays the mask somehow is associated with internet hacking and cybercrime and ladies and gentlemen cybercrime is illegal and since cybercrime is illegal here in the Philippines we have an official rule about uh, the use of the internet to prevent cybercrime and that is Republic Act number 10175 or the Cybercrime Prevention Act of 2012. So Republic Act number 10175, um, it is a, a, the official rule in the Republic of the Philippines uh, about the use of the internet and stated here are the punishable acts and penalties for those who commit cybercrime. So, some of the cyber crime offenses are cyber squatting, cyber sex, libel, identity theft, illegal access to data, and child pornography. So, let us define what is uh, the meaning of the word cyber from the word cyber crime. So, cyber means uh, relating to or involving computer networks such as the internet. And the term cyberspace, we also need to know this term because cyberspace refers to the virtual computer world. This is not the reality. Cyberspace means or refers to whatever is happening inside the computer, inside the internet. So that is cyberspace. And cybercrime happens in cyberspace. Okay. So let's talk about the cybercrime offenses. First is the cyberbullying. So um, take a look at the picture. So cyberbullying is a form of harassment. When you post rumor or um, threats or embarrassing information about somebody, then that is already cyberbullying. And if you post on social media some inappropriate photographs or nude pictures, to shame someone online, then that is cyberbullying. Cyberbullying means the use of electronic communication to bully a person, and that is cybercrime. Next is hacking. When you access digital files or a system without permission, that is already hacking. Hacking refers to the practice of modifying or changing or altering computer software and hardware to accomplish a goal that is considered to be outside of the creator's original objective. So in the news, there are some government website that has been hacked. So that is an example of hacking. Next is Fishing. So in the picture, it's like literally the man is fishing. But instead of fish, um, he got files. So take note also of the spelling. It's P H I S H I N G, fishing. So phishing is a method of trying to gather or get personal information using deceptive emails and website. So it is the attempt to obtain sensitive information such as your username and password. So um, we need to be very careful with our usernames and password because there are people who do phishing so that they can gain 
benefit. So next is digital piracy. So obviously, digital piracy is a violation of the copyright laws. So digital piracy means illegally copying and selling digital music video computer software and etc. So pirated CD, pirated DVDs, they're part of the digital piracy world. And that is cybercrime also. Next is the identity theft. So identity theft is the deliberate use of someone else's identity. And it is usually uh, used as a method to gain a financial advantage or benefit in the other person's name. So in the news, sometimes we can, he um, we can hear that a person has been stolen a lot of money because of identity theft. So that is also punishable um, with penalty under the Republic Act number 10175. And the next is another form of cybercrime offense is child pornography. So it is also sometimes called child sexual abuse images. And it refers to any content that depicts se sexually explicit activities. Uh, child pornography is a form of child sexual exploitation. So those are some examples of the cybercrime offenses. Now, posting and sharing media and information responsibly. How can we be responsible when we post and share media and uh, information? So, let's start. Let's continue. Digital footprint. So, I know you have read this uh, in your module. Digital footprint is a record of your online activity. It shows where you have been, the data you have shared or used, and the traces you've left behind. So simply put, digital footprint is like your history in the cyberspace, meaning um, you are leaving traces or you're leaving footprints. Mura good na og ka nang naglakaw-lakaw ka sa beach, di ba? Magbilin ka og footprint. That's why it is called digital footprint because um, you're using the internet and the computer. So you're leaving your traces. Um, unsa nga mga website ang imong hanggi open, unsa nga music ang uh, madalas nimo ginapaminaw, just like that and any uh, any other information digitally in the digital world or in the cyberspace, you have your digital footprint. And sometimes there is danger in there because somebody might be interested with your data and it can lead to identity theft. So be very uh, careful of the digital footprint that you leave behind. Okay, so... How can we be responsible? So let's talk about the proper online behavior. And sometimes this is a cliche because paulit-ulit na no, ginaingon every time by your teachers or by your parents or your friends. Think before you click. So it might be a cliche but it is very useful every day because we are using internet almost every day. So think before you click think before you create before you create a status in your news feed or you share uh, information and post messages online so think twice or thrice if um, your d data information is accurate or correct or wala ba kay masagasaan ana nga post so always think before you click next is Post wholesome pictures and videos all the time. So, put wholesome pictures and videos. Dili ka tong mga lewd na mga pictures <laughs> or other information that is parang something sexual or exp um, parang ganun. 
So think twice if it is wholesome or not. If it is wholesome, then you can post it. Because why? Because um, there are many people who are using Facebook and it means children also are using and can view your pictures and the videos that you share. So think that way. There are children who are using Facebook and viewing whatever you share. Okay. Next is to protect your computer and gadgets, use a strong password. So I have read that a strong password contains um, letters, numbers, and uh, characters in your uh, from the keyboard. So a combination of letter, symbols, and number is already a strong password. Never use your name or your birth date or something that is um, parang dalit lang good nila ma, ma figure out. So use a strong password. Again, a combination of uh, letter, number, and symbols. And then choose the most secure and trusted digital resources. So whenever you research, for example, uh, your, as uh, your assignments and questions uh, written in the module, be sure, or when you open a website, be sure that that is a trusted digital resource and they do not get the your username and password. So be very careful of when you share or when you put or type or encode your username and password and make sure that the website is trusted and the other digital resources that you download. Okay, so, and also other um, proper online behavior includes always acknowledge your sources whenever you share, again, to avoid plagiarism. We have already tackled that in our previous lesson and of course respect other people's opinion because we have different minds and we have dif different beliefs and cultures so we really have different opinion and then comment on post politely and appropriately and then promote a positive self-image online instead of sharing depressing quotes and the last but not the least is respect one's privacy because if you want other people to respect you or respect your privacy, then you must start with yourself by having the discipline to respect them, yeah, right? Respect other people's privacy and their own space. So that's it for our lesson for today. Thank you very much, class, and see you again next time. Bye!